So welcome back to the channel. So uh, where we're going today, we're going to the uh, NEC, to the uh, camping and caravan motorhome show, and uh, also be staying overnight at the uh, the Bull's Head at Brinklaw, which allows you to stop overnight if you have a meal for free. Don't think there's any facilities or anything, but uh, I'll show you more of that later. where we're staying tonight um, looks okay no facilities here mind you but everything uh, looks okay outside beer garden for summertime and that's the vans down the bottom so what the plan is um, tomorrow we go into the uh, caravan camping and motorhome show and then uh, tomorrow night staying not far from TMD motorhomes because uh, after that on Monday morning I'm taking the van back to there just to get the uh, the recall done on the fuse uh, been a recall because a few vans that have had the uh, fuse holder has actually melted but the fuse hasn't blown so got to go in there to get that done tomorrow it's only a half an hour job but uh, I'll show you down there as well so uh see you later on so here we are at the bull's head great pub uh great for a stopover as you can see through there lovely beers and you can watch the footy down the bottom as well Just walking in now, so uh, don't look too bad. We're here nice and early. Not too far to walk from this car park by the look of it. So we're going to have a look in uh, Hall 3A first because, as we can see, we've got the Adria stand. So I'll have a look at that and see what it's like. Adria bands. So Lanzarote grey, and then we've got the uh, Expedition grey. Get a look in those in a minute. This has got the uh, two rear beds. I'll just take a look inside this one. Oh, 
obviously the different sinks they're uh, they're a matte colour now and that's the front with a new 2022 dash And skylight roof. Sure, I think this is the back of the sport version. Plenty of storage in here. And these units that you can obviously just remove and pack them inside or take them with you. It's quite nice. And then again, all the same Adria stuff in the front this is a pop top version as well and that one is a twin sport so if you fancied upgrading your uh, hi-fi system in the van you got this bad boy but look at the price I think I'll stick with the one I got looks like we can get a coffee at the uh, Adria stand as well which is all pretty nicely set up here we have the Adria teardrop caravan which uh, nice appointed kitchen at the back and actually really spacious for its size obviously you make that up into a bed nice fridge and your uh, toilet and shower area the one thing I like about Adri you've got that massive massive skylight there so it makes it feel a lot more open than it actually uh, is size wise really So Chasson, nice fans, but what you haven't got like what you've got with the Adri, I like the raised bed that you've, you've got here because you can store all your stuff underneath. So personally, I find these rear uh, lounges a waste of time, if I'm honest. So, um, but that's just for my uh, particular sport and I can carry everything underneath. Price is pretty good though. Nice looking van, if you like that sort of thing of course. Nice van for storage and stuff, but definitely not as nice as the Adria's, although it looks okay from the outside. This is the rear view. Mm -hmm. 
lovely VW Crafter. Loads of storage, but not cheap. It's all right if I look inside. Yeah, if you put your stuff down here. Yeah, that's sure, great. mate. Yeah. Beautiful van. VW Crafter, in fact, no, it's a man actually, but same as a VW. It looks like it's in the Expedition Grey colour, similar to the uh, van I've got. But loads of storage space. See if we can get inside, but as you can see, there's a bit of a queue for people to get inside. We'll go inside and have a look at this. Lovely van. And this is a pop top as well, I think. Have a look in the shower. Mm. Lots of VWs about in this hall. Lovely bits of kit. So this is the Road Pro stand and they sell all the stuff like your solar panels etc that uh, that Adria fit into their vans. So uh, yeah if you're needing anything that's broken or whatever you don't want to replace it they sell all the bits and pieces in it. So it's handy to know like the I think there's the uh, the 120 there that's on on my van solar panel. So guys, I think we've had a good day. So we're uh, we're walking out of the show. It's been really good. Um, seen most of the stuff we wanted to do. So that's the end of the show. Show. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm off to campsite tonight and then get the uh, fuse thing done tomorrow so we'll uh, the replacement fuse so we'll uh, we'll do a little video of that as well so we can see what's going on with that so see you tomorrow so back on Chapel Lane Club caravan site which is not far from TMD motorhomes where I'm going tomorrow and this is the very first campsite that I ever slept in my Adria twin in when I first picked the van up so I wanted to check it was all right before uh, carrying on back to Norfolk. So uh, tomorrow, get the fuse replacement done and the hab check. Happy days. That's it. Just leaving Chapel Lane to go and uh, go to TMD and get the uh, get the fuse done and the other bits and pieces and the hab check. So hopefully they'll let us uh, film some of it down there. See you later. This is TMD's workshop where I've brought the van down for the hab check and the uh, the other bits and pieces doing the fuse holder. Unfortunately, I don't think they'll let me uh, film inside the workshop.
So here's mine. It's got to sit there for a while because they're just doing the habitation check and it's got to have a CO2 test so the doors have to remain closed just while they check that. Unfortunately they wouldn't let me film doing the fuse changing and stuff but it's all been done so uh, happy days and uh, ready for the journey back now. And a little gift from TMD for the journey back home so I'm sure I'll uh, sure I'll eat all those on the three hour journey. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.